is to introduce our uh, our next guest speaker, Nicolette. Um, and Nicolette will be joining me on the stage and sharing her presentation. Nicolette, we are on time, so we are going to be, I'm going to be handing over to you. And then what we can do is I will come back um, with five minutes to um, talk um, through any questions that I can now see on the chat. So Nicolette, could you tell everybody please um, where you're from and what you're going to be talking about this afternoon regarding governments? Thank you. Hi, uh, hi Helen. Uh, hi, everyone. Um, I'm, uh, I'm based in the UK uh, and I work as a lead API architect for uh, HSBC um, Wealth and Personal Bank. And today I'm going to be talking to you about why and uh, how we implement uh, API standards and governance within uh, Wealth and Personal Bank globally. Ah, so hopefully you'll be joining. Yes. Sorry, please go on. Yeah, so hopefully you'll be joining me uh, for a for an interesting talk on, on standards and governance today. Yes. So you've got a presentation to share with us, yeah? I do. Yes. Let me try and pre uh, share yeah. now. And you won't be able to see when it's on screen, so I will let um, you. You oh, you've got a lot open there, but I, when you sorted out your screen, um, I will tell you when you're ready to go. Um, so uh, we've just had a. Uh, uh, your colleague from Hong Kong on the show talking as well. Yes, that's right. We're, we're channeling the HSBC vibe here. We are good to go. So you're going to be talking for the next 20 minutes about API standards and the governance platform. Um, well, you've just had an absolute brilliant warm-up act. So, Nicolette, over to you. Enjoy your, your, your time. And thank you very much for joining us on API Days. Thank you. Thank you very much. Very excited to be here as well. Mm. So hi everyone, uh, thank you for joining me today for the API standards and governance platform uh, session. I am the lead API architect for HSBC Wealth and uh, Personal Banking. And uh, I will be sharing today with you uh, the why and how um, HSBC Wealth and Personal Bank implement API governance across um, our global organization. So let's start by looking first at who pays the price for lack of API standards and governance within an organization. At HSBC, we embarked on a digital transformation journey several years ago. And since then, we have built uh, hundreds of APIs every year. Without stand API standards and governance, we were experiencing a set of challenges for example, increased cost to use our APIs and limited API reuse. We were experiencing inconsistent API quality and more importantly, interoperability challenges across uh, our various service lines. We soon realized that we need to invest in standardization if we want to lower the cost to use our APIs in, by internal and external API consumers to increase our API reuse and therefore productivity and the overall API quality by delivering market leading API experiences to both internal and external API consumers. So if your organization is one that has many APIs with duplicate functionality, and APIs that are called by only one single API consumers, I will be sharing a few lessons learned as part of our journey, which will help to address these challenges. So lesson one is investing in API standards will benefit both API consumers and API providers. At HSBC, we invest in both API design standards, but also API development or API implementation standards. The API design standards benefit API consumers as they provide a set of consistent interface structures and behaviors, patterns and we, which we expect consistently to be applied across all our APIs, such as error structures, error codes and descriptions, request response format, pagination, sorting, um, versioning, and, and much more. Our API implementation standards allow API producers to improve implementation approaches for cost-effective API development and maintainability, including 
consistent availability, security, and performance characteristics. As part of our API development standards, we are providing common libraries for our develop developers to use and implement common capabilities across our APIs, such as logging, monitoring, and most importantly, securing our APIs. The two standards, the design standards and the development standards are complementing each other, and they also evolve at different rates. The design standards, we always aim to be uh, to evolve them in a backwards compatible way for the benefit of our consumers who are looking for continuous compatibility and an improved API experience. While standards evolve and improve over time, new releases are always backwards compatible using a never remove, only add approach. Also, the API implementation standards can evolve much rapidly than our design standards, um, but they are focused on providing better approaches for the benefit of uh, providing a cost-effective APIs. The API design and development standards within HSBC are governed by a central API platform team. Let's go to the next lesson learned. And um, we have been focusing within HSBC our API design reviews on API product vision. And we have automated as much as possible so we are able to scale globally. What you see here on the screen is a simple and effective API governance process, which I'm going to walk you through. The API design governance at HSBC is the result of a of collaborative work between our API architects, API designers, the product owners, and API consumers. So if we start with the API designer, the API designer is responsible for the design of the API product in alignment to the um, approved HSBC standards. The designer prepares the API product documentation, the API contract, including the API metadata, which is fundamental for discoverability uh, purposes once the API is published in the API uh, repository. The API designer also makes use of API governance tools to check the compliance with the API standards as he's designing his API and before submitting his API for review to the API review board. The API review board is chaired by an API architect, a senior API architect, who will bring together a, um, a set of API reviewers, which will review the new API product or changes to existing API products from their um, viewpoint. So, for example, within the API uh, review board, we have API business architects, which are um, reviewing the API and they're responsible as part of the role um, to ensure that the API functional scope is aligned to the business domain models that we have adopted within the organization and provide expert advice on the business language and the terminology to be used within our API. Um, another key role as part of our governance is the API product owner and he's responsible for defining and communicating clearly the API product feature roadmap and vision. The API architect is responsible for reviewing the API product documentation and provide expert advice on key API design decisions, which are in alignment with our API governance strategic objectives around reusability, um, consistency, and security, but also in alignment to the product vision to ensure that we build a product which can evolve over time and an API product that it's not just is not being built just for the use cases we have uh, in front of us. So really by implementing this simple and effective API governance process, um, we treat API governance not just as a way to impose um, a certain way of doing things, 
but also as a consulting services that is provided by our API architects and API design experts that will help internal stakeholders to optimize their APIs by asking simple questions and demonstrate um, areas of improvement. During our API reviews, we always put ourselves in the shoes of our consumers. So it's really important also to consider every time we make a design decision, we need to ensure that we avoid uh, changes which are not backwards compatible to existing API products. Otherwise, we may impact the whole consumer chain. So let's have a look at key aspect of our API, um, API review and the fact that our API governance uh, members are really treating APIs um, as a product. So we, we need to ensure that for all our APIs, we have a product roadmap. We understand the features that the API product need to support. Um, we have also a good understanding of the use cases that our API product need to, needs to enable now or in the future. Also, the governance team needs to think about the developer experience. How can we make it easy for developers to use our API product? Is our API intuitive? Does it use a consistent style to lower the learning curve? What is the support model for our API and how would we allow changes to our APIs to support other teams and service lines in the future? What is the registration process to our API and how we so how will other register to consume consume our API? And most importantly, also we're looking at how easy it is for the new API being designed is to be found in the API repository. Have we tagged it with the relevant metadata to be able to find it in the repository and reuse it? So our governance team and the processes, as you have seen, are augmented by automated API style, uh, style checks because this allows us to highlight problems uh, er earlier in the design, fix them early, and before we actually um, take them to, to the implementation. So by going, by taking every single API product through, through this process, we are actually bringing a, a lot of benefits to our API consumers. On one side, all our APIs going through this process will be designed in the same way with the help of our automated API style checks, making sure they have a consistent error structure, format, pagination. They all have uh, the same documentation format, the same type of materials which are being uh, made available to our developers, so they are ready to start coding. All our APIs must have a clear and consistent, comprehensive and correct API documentation. They must be interoperable and so that they can be combined to create valuable customer experiences. Also, you see that our APIs uh, will follow a common data dictionary. So by going through the API um, uh, review processes, we are ensuring that our designers have made use of common data dictionaries when those have been made available within the enterprise. And absolutely all our API contracts must be published to a centralized API repository with the relevant metadata so that these APIs can be discovered and reuse later. So another lesson learned that I want to share with you is about promoting domain-driven design approach across the enterprise in order to increase API reuse. So like I mentioned earlier, we were facing challenges around reuse, API reuse. And one of the things that has helped to remove API duplication across our estate was to promote an outside-in business domain-driven design approach across the enterprise for guiding identification, development, evolution, and standardization of our API contracts. By focusing on the domain, it helped us to establish the area of concerns and also the separation of services. And mapping APIs to a particular domain 
indeed has helped us to increase API reuse by making API discoverable, by allowing someone to drill down uh, through a business domain model and find the APIs. Another lesson learned, which is something that we've, uh, we are continuously improving on within HSBC is to use common vocabularies based on a standardized language to create homogeneous APIs. Our governance team defines common vocabularies on a standardized language already in use and publishes those as reusable schemas across the organization. We have recognized the importance to maintain such a catalog of core schema definition across the enterprise from, our, from the feedback that we were getting from our uh, consumers. And we have been taking influence from successful initiatives within the industry, such as schema.org. So our API's designer should pick up the data objects and the data attributes definition from the common schemas that we make available to them. So let's have a look at the core services that an API governance, um, API standards and governance platform uh, should provide. So as I was uh, covering the lesson learned so far, you see that um, I have summarized those core services on, on this particular slide. So on one side, we have the API standards definition, which help define quality and consistent API experiences. So you will see that I've, um, I've included the common vocabularies, the design standards and implementation, um, and also the checklist and governance metrics, which we, we also, um, we also uh, provide and, and define as part of, the, of this capability. On the other side, we have the governance processes and tooling, which help to uh, validate API uh, designs at scale and ensure we are building the APIs um, right. And we are also building the right APIs for HSBC. So really our governance uh, process has become um, simple and effective, uh, although it is um, continuously improving based on the feedback that we are getting from both our internal and external stakeholders. So looking back at our journey so far, what we have done really is started with a few brilliant basics. So we started by defining uh, a set of basic API design standards and development standards. We've also provided manual governance checklists, so checklist which API designer could use to self-assess their API design. And we've also put in place an API design review. Then we've started to introduce automation within our, um, our overall API standards and governance processes. On one side, standards are evolving and continuously evolving based on the feedback that we're getting from our developers, internally and external developers. We have invested in automated governance engine because that helped us to scale and automate many of the checks that we were previously doing manually through our API design reviews. And we've gone even further to integrate this API governance engine within our CI CD deployment uh, pipelines. By, pro by providing this integration, make, making this integration available, we were able to highlight the non-compliance to standards for older APIs as well, not just for the new APIs that were being built and designed. And this non-compliance to standards can be now made available and visible to the chief architects and the internal auditors via our API governance dashboard. So even further, looking at the future, we are continuously like I said, continuously evolving and improving our API design standards to ensure that we are driving a market leading API experience. In a similar way, development standards are evolving to ensure that we are driving cost effective API development. We're also providing accelerators for our developers, reference implementation for our 
common capabilities around logging and monitoring and security to make sure that those are implemented in a consistent way. Looking at the feature, we also want to start um, managing our API standards as, as code. And we are looking at, again, looking at um, initiatives such as uh, Google's API improvement proposals, uh, because we believe that by managing API standards as a code, it would be very easy for us to uh, see a clear history of the changes um, and to build even further automation within um, our uh, processes around finding out, for example, what has changed um, across all standards. That would be so much easier managing standards as a code and also finding out the impact whenever a standard changes, what would be the impact on our existing um, APIs. So by measuring um, key API governance um, metrics, such as, for example, the number of consumers for an API, um, or the volume of traffic for an API, or whether APIs, you know, the number of APIs which are being published for API, uh, to our API uh, repository. Uh, or from a process perspective, we are measuring, you know, the number of days from wh which an API was submitted for a review to the governance, uh, to the review board, uh, and, and how long it, it took for the review board to actually provide um, approval for before the API goes into development. So. With, by measuring all these API uh, governance metrics, we are able to drive the correct behaviors across our organization and continuously improve our processes. So let's recap what we have um, learned today. So lesson one is investing in API standards will bring benefits to both API consumers and providers. Lesson two is focus on API, focus your API design reviews on the product vision and automate what you can in order to scale. Lesson three is promote a domain driven design approach across the enterprise to increase API reuse. And lesson four, use common vocabularies based on standardized language in use within your enterprise to create homogeneous APIs. We've also looked at the core services that an API standards and governance platform team should provide for a simple and effective API governance across the enterprise. And we've also looked at the high level roadmap that can help inform the delivery of these core services. Thank you very much for your time and hope you enjoyed um, the talk. Taking me a while to get back with you, Nicolette. I'm sorry about that. Okay. No say I did enjoy it. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. I do we do have one quick question. Um, if we could go through that, is from Gareth Venton. So Gareth, thank you very much. The question is: do you utilize any metrics of note, um, KRIs, um, KPIs to support government, governance even? Yes, yes, absolutely. So some of the metrics that I mentioned uh, today, so we, we are definitely uh, measuring things like the, num uh, the number of consumers that um, an API uh, is supporting, for example. Um, we are uh, we are also um, measuring, you know, uh, whether the API is in how many of our API state is uh, published to the API repository. And um, all these are just to, to ensure that are driving the right behavior, such as building reusable APIs, uh, not just for a particular consumer. So we, we get more um, more benefits from having reusable APIs and um, also making making those discoverable. It's key to reusability as well. Uh, so absolutely, these are the two key metrics which we are measuring within, uh, within HSBC at the moment. And we are looking to further expand as we evolve and improve our governance processes. And what gets measured gets managed. Thank you very much, Nicolette. Thank you. A superb presentation. Um, um, thank you very much, and thank you for joining us at API Days.
Thank you very much for having me. Bye, everyone. It's a pleasure. Thank you.